you get an NFPA link account, it, I think it's another, you know, they have like a monthly thing or a yearly thing, but you pay to have access to the book and it has all of these explanations and pictures and everything in it, but it's an online version of it. So if you wanted to like copy and paste some stuff, send it to somebody, take screenshots of something, throw it in a chat if you're talking to somebody, it's really, really helpful. Plus there's a search feature in it. So if you're looking for like GFCI and you don't remember that it's in 210, you can just type in GFCI and then boom, it populates every instance of the word GFCI. And it just helps you like really navigate code and find things quickly and easily. So if it were me, again, studying to take my license, my, my exam, I would have the NFPA link thing, I would have a handbook, and I would have the actual book that I'm gonna be taking in. I'm not sponsored in any way by NFPA. This isn't me trying to like hawk their merch on you. I'm just saying as somebody trying to study, I wanna know as much as possible, so I'm gonna to try to get as many resources as possible. And just keep in mind, every three years, you're gonna to have to buy it all again. So. Let's, um, before I get into the mnemonic and the, the structure of the book, let's see, do we have any more uh, questions? We had Bill Gar says the handbook has been a game changer and most people discover it too late. Yeah, I agree, man. I absolutely agree. Well, a lot of times they're apprentices, right? They don't have the money to go out and drop a hundred bucks on a book, let alone 200, 300 as they climb prices. So I get it. But dude, it makes all the difference in the world, truly. Um, all right, Sean Pearson. Hi, I'll take my journeyman test next week. Any tips on uh, tips and advice to master the code?